everyone, and welcome back to our Disney celebration here on the Cozy Chair. Why am I glad that you're here? Well, today we have a fun book out of our, I mean a fun story, out of our Disney Storybook Collection. Do you remember this great book? It has all sorts of stories in it. Well, today we are going to read this one. Do you know what that book is called? It is called Wreck-It Ralph. This one is such a silly story, and I'm going to be reading it for Tamara. Hello, Tamara. I hope that you like this story. Now, many of you have seen this movie, so you'll know more about the story than is even inside this book. Every day, Ralph would come on screen in the video game Fix-It Felix Jr. as the bad guy and yell, I'm gonna wreck it. Then he'd destroy everything. When he went to talk to bad guys from other games, he realized that he didn't want to be a bad guy anymore. He knew good guys got medals at the end of their games. If only he could win a medal, then he could become a good guy. I don't think he really likes his life as a bad guy. I think he'd rather be a good guy. Ralph returned home and saw that the nice landers and Felix having fun without him. Ralph wanted to fix it, but everything he touched broke. No one wanted him around. As the arcade opened, a young girl came to play Fix It Felix Jr., but something was wrong. The game started, but Ralph was missing. The nice landers thought he had gone to take over another arcade game, like the infamous Turbo had. Felix went to bring him back. They were friends, after all. Ralph escaped into the game's central station and snuck into Hero's Duty, where he could win a huge medal, and then he would be a good guy. Everything everything in his new game was big, dark, and high definition. Sergeant Calhoun, the leader of the team, warned him about the huge, dangerous cybugs everywhere. He went game hopping, which means he left his own arcade game and he jumped into a different one. <gasps> In Hero's Duty, there was a cyborg. Uh-oh, but look what he got. Ralph had to fight hard as he climbed up the tower to receive the medal. Finally, he saw the medal and knew his dream was about to come true. Ralph walked up to the podium and grabbed it. As the soldiers congratulated Ralph, Ralph tripped and fell, crushing some cybugs. Some cybug eggs. This brought them to life. Ralph stumbled onto this escape pod with one of the cybugs attached to his face. Did you see that? But he's escaping now. The escape pod flew through the game central station and crashed into yet a third game. Sugar Rush. Ralph tumbled and rolled into a candy cane tree. He looked for his medal and found it hanging on the tree near a little girl named Vanellope von Schweetz. Vanellope saw Ralph's medal and climbed up after it. She wanted to. She wanted it, too. Vanellope yelled, race you to it. Ralph tried to catch up, but she was too fast. She swiped Ralph's medal as he fell into the candy lake. This would be a super fun game to be in because everything in this game is made of candy. Do you kids like candy? Raise your hands really high if you like candy. If you do, you're going to love this story because everything is made out of sweets. That's why it's called Sugar Rush. Back in Heroes Duty, Felix and Calhoun had teamed up. Felix still needed to bring Ralph home, and Calhoun wanted to find the missing cybug. In Sugar Rush, a go-kart race was about to start. The candy people looked up on the, as the racers assembled, and King Candy, the ruler of Sugar Rush, announced that the racers could now enter. Vanellope had been waiting for that moment. She brought over her cart and used the medal to pay her fee. That's why she wanted the medal! She wanted Ralph's medal so that she could enter the go-kart race. Vanellope had always dreamed of becoming a racer, and the medal was her chance. Can you see all the girls all lined up to race? And their cute little go-karts? They look pretty fun, huh? Candy-covered Ralph emerged from the stands, searching for Vanellope. Ralph charged through the racers, but King Candy's guards caught him. Look! They caught him in a cupcake. While Vanellope darted away, King Candy questioned Ralph. Ralph knew he had to get his medal back. He managed to escape. Do you see who he's talking to? This is King Candy. 
He's the one in charge of the sugar rush game. One of the main racers, Taffeta, and her lackeys chased after Vanellope and made fun of her for being unique. Yeah, Taffeta is mean. She's pretty much a bully. They called her a glitch, a mistake in the game's programming. They broke her car to part, but Ralph came to the rescue, scaring the bullies away. I'm glad they got those mean girls away, that he got those mean girls away from Vanellope. Do you see them? They came up to her cart, and then they busted it. Ralph and Vanellope finally spoke to each other and realized the medal was their chance to reach their dreams. Ralph agreed to help Vanellope. They broke into the local cart factory and made a unique new cart. Ralph thought it looked pretty weird. But Vanellope was overjoyed with it. She and Ralph proudly signed it. Soon King Candy's minions were after them. Vanellope and Ralph escaped from them and ran into a Diet Cola mountain. Vanellope's home. That's where she'd been hiding. Meanwhile, Felix and Calhoun made it to Sugar Rush. They searched for Ralph and the Cybug. Vanellope told Ralph she was a glitch, and Ralph knew he had to help Vanellope. They both wanted to be something more in their games. Vanellope wanted to give up. She'd never driven a real cart before, but Ralph wouldn't let her. He made her a racetrack. Even though Vanellope was scared, she kept trying. That's what we have to do, right? We just have to keep trying. With Ralph by her side, she finally raced around the track like a true expert. Oh, wow, look at her. She is so happy. And look at Ralph's face. He's a little nervous to be on her cart, don't you think? Vanellope was ready to compete. If she won the race, she would get a whole pot of coins, including Ralph's medal. She wanted to give Ralph his medal back, but first she ran home to get something. While she was gone, guess who came? King Candy found Ralph and tricked him into believing Vanellope would ruin the game if she raced. Ralph thought he had to stop Vanellope from racing to save her. King Candy gave Ralph the Medal of Heroes and left. Vanellope came back with a homemade medal for Ralph. Ralph wanted to protect her from getting hurt, so he played the bad guy and wrecked the cart to save her. But Vanellope saw he had the Medal of Heroes and cried, You sold me out! Ralph tried to explain that if the game was ever unplugged, she would be doomed because she was a glitch. Ralph returned to his home game with the, with the medal. Nothing was the same. None of the nice landers told him the game was going offline. One of the nice landers told him the game was going offline, and Ralph ended up alone. This is such a sad part of the story. When he breaks her cart, look how sad Vanellope is. He did it because he thought it would keep her safe. He really isn't the bad guy. As Ralph sat by himself, he saw Vanellope's image on the side of the sugar rush machine. Oh, he realized she was part of the game and not a glitch. Ralph returned to Sugar Rush and found that King Candy had stolen Vanellope's computer code. If she ever crossed the finish line, she'd become an official racer again, and King Candy would be gone. That's why King Candy was tricking him. He's the one that stole her computer code. But Vanellope and Felix were now in King Candy's dungeon. Meanwhile, Calhoun fell into a, hideous, into a hidden cybug hive. An invasion was coming. Uh-oh. So now there's cybugs inside the sugar rush game. Ralph freed Felix from the dungeon so he could fix Vanellope's race cart. Then Ralph found Vanellope and apologized to her with her cart. She forgave him and was happy to be friends again. Quickly, Vanellope hurried to the track before the race was over. She glitched through the turn after turn. Her win was in sight when the Cybugs broke through the track. While Vanellope and King Candy kept racing, the Cybugs multiplied and exploded out of the track, stopping the race. Those cybugs are becoming a serious problem in the game. King Candy and Vanellope fought each other to get ahead. As they did, his secret was revealed. He was really Turbo, the game jumper. Remember that bad guy in the beginning that left his game? Vanellope glitched away as she approached the finish line. The ground exploded with cybugs. As the residents of Sugar Rush hurried to escape from the cybugs, Ralph tried to flee with Vanellope, but she couldn't leave the game. No, Ralph said, I'm not leaving you again. 
Calhoun shouted, without a beacon, we have no way to stop those bugs. Ralph wouldn't have v leave Vanellope behind. He had to save her. As Felix and Calhoun fight off cybugs, Ralph got an idea. He would create his own beacon. Ralph ran to Diet Cola Mountain, pounding at the candy in hopes of making a beacon to attract the tra and trap the cybugs. Meanwhile, Turbo got swallowed by a cybug, but it only turned Turbo into a powerful cybug. Turbo stopped and attacked Ralph. Turbo was too strong for Ralph. Even for Ralph, that really strong guy. Ralph looked down at the mountain and sacrificed himself to save Vanellope. Finally knowing the truth, there's no one I'd rather be than me. Just in the nick of time, Vanellope glitched through the mountain wall and saved Ralph. When the candies hit the cola, the glowing geyser spewed out of the top of the mountain. The cybugs flew toward the light of the beacon and all the bugs were destroyed, including Turbo. Vanellope crossed the finish line and reset the game, becoming the queen and a racer and restoring everything with her. But she liked being able to glitch. It was her racing superpower. Ralph returned to his game and did not mind being the bad guy. He knew he didn't need a medal to be a good guy. Look, in the end, he made friends with the Nicelanders. And of course, his very best friend was Vanellope Von Schweetz. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that story, and I hope that you'll come back for a few more stories here on our Disney celebration. See you soon!